Cindy Black has been living with depression since her mid-teens. Her horse Bella bringing comfort on her darkest days. She's got me through a lot of these tough times. Over the past decade, Ms Black has been in and out of hospital. She's made several suicide attempts, including one that left her in a coma for over a month. Um, almost four and a half years worth in the last sort of eight to ten years has been spent in hospital at different points. She tried countless medications, but none of them worked, until three years ago when she took a multi-gene test that helped to narrow down which drugs would be effective for her genetic profile. That led to her being prescribed an antidepressant that changed her life. It's just absolutely changed everything. It's brought my overall mood up, you know, I would say by 80 or 90 per cent to a point where I was able to say I'm actually really happy. She's not alone. Doctors say it often takes months to find the right medication. Sadly, it's more the uh, rule rather than the exception. Uh, most patients, when they get treated with depressive disorders, uh, don't get full remission on the first medication that they get put on. A new trial will apply the same test Ms Black had to hundreds of mental health patients across WA, New South Wales and Victoria. Participants will have a brain scan and cheek swab, which will guide their treatment plan. If we can get these treatments better targeted for people straight away without false starts, without side effects, that uh, they and their loved ones will benefit. At the moment, the tests have to be paid for by patients privately. We're hoping that if this evidence um, is from this clinical trial shows us that doing this test early in a person's um, health journey can be um, effective for them, then we would you know, strongly consider making that more standard practice here in Western Australia and hopefully around Australia. Cindy Black's battle with depression isn't over, but the future is looking brighter than ever, with a wedding to plan and a baby on the way. Rhiannon Shine, ABC News.